Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyr Town, and we just had a visit from Wilbur that I went ahead and skipped because it is a tutorial, and we are skipping the tutorials in this playthrough. It was a tutorial about... No, I want, I want to pick up... You didn't see that. Anyway, it's a tutorial about the basement, and I'll just go ahead and explain how the basement works. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 144,000G! We did not stand a chance. Lloyd! Congratulations! In second place with 174,000G! Sherry Store, congratulations! Hey! How about that? That was a lot of tree seeds she'd be selling. And in first place with 226,000G! Wilbur Store, congratulations! Now, technically, our 100,000 did not for the basement did not count towards that, but anyway, yes. And the person with the happiest customers was... Wilbur! The customer said your service was top notch! <laughs> you ruled on the town proud! Keep up the good work! Our rule to be the best bazaar in the world is now... still far away! No reason to fret, we'll take it step by step! Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now, start getting ready for the next bazaar! We're not gonna go into the basement immediately, we're gonna... Good morning, let's make today a great one. Did I...? Yes, I do in fact have a butterfly fur. Lovely bride today. So, in addition to showing off the basement, today is Stuart's birthday, which, yeah, we've got the... We've got that ready to go. We've got our present for Stuart ready to go. And in addition to that, we need to get ready for the cooking festival. Uh, we, we aren't going to be doing the cooking festival this episode, but next episode, we are going to be doing it, and... Um, yeah, we want to be ready for it, basically. We... Now, I was thinking that we could probably do pink fondue, which is cheese and bread and red wine. We don't have the recipe for that. It's a little cheaty, you know? I kind of did that sort of thing um, last year, where I cooked something that I didn't have the recipe for. But I realize that with the basement greenhouse, as soon as I pick up the summer sun, we don't really need those tomatoes that are in storage to be tomato seeds because we can grow other potato. I mean, tomatoes, not potatoes. Because we can grow tomatoes and, t and turn them into seeds. So, hold on, let's page all the way over here. These tomato seeds, these high quality tomato seeds, we can plant those in the basement greenhouse with the summer sun active and just get more tomato seeds. Which, by the way, that's also the way that I tend to prefer to use the basement greenhouse, is as a means of acquiring more seeds for our crops. Especially for the high quality regrowables. It's very good for that. Oh, we need to give Stuart his present. <sighs> All right, let's have our pasta salad with our royal milk tea. I mean, I don't think any tea would be worth 22,000 G, but that is certainly some tasty tea. Hmm? You're giving me a box. Oh, there's something inside. <laughs> A birthday gift! A Mont Blanc! Ray, you really know what I like. Thank you. So yes, that is his uh, special... What is his special gift? All of the special gifts in this game... 
the one that the ones that give you the most friendship points all of them are cooked which is not always the case in ranch story games but uh, in this particular one it is that's something I think would have been nice to have added is if you marry a certain uh, can marriage candidate like for example if you marry Sherry well uh, you would have Felix and Lloyd and Antoinette stopping by you know their friends would come by right and uh, well, if you married Antoinette, then you'd probably have uh, um, Claude and and Sherry come by and, you know, just that sort of stuff. I think that would have been a pretty cool addition. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and to let me know what your favorite thing to grow in the greenhouse is. Do you prefer to grow tea? Do you prefer to grow pineapples? Or do you prefer to use it to farm seeds, like I am? Anyway, let me know. All that stuff really does help me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently. So do not forget. Alright, this is the basement greenhouse. You can see there is a, uh, an area that's just as large as the other fields. Our cats are getting in here, which is not great. But anyway, there's an area just as large as the other fields, and of course you do need to hoe it in order to use it but we have the max level hoe, so that's not even an issue. You can plant crops from any season in this greenhouse. However, you cannot plant, for example, fall and spring crops together and have them both survive just fine. And that is because you need to set the season that the greenhouse is imitating. And you do that right over here. This is the sun. It come, the basement greenhouse comes with a spring sun, and you can replace it if you have another sun. We do have a fall sun, but we don't really have much interest in growing fall crops down here, not right now. So we have this set to spring, which again is its default. Uh, the different suns are sold at the bazaar by Diego's Delights. Well, not by Diego. They're, they're sold by Diego at Diego's Delights. And, uh, um, yeah, so they show up in his inventory randomly. Um, they cost 10,000 G each. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's really all there is to know about that, I think. As far as growing crops down here, of course, you do need to water them just like you would if they were outside. One other point I should mention about the basement greenhouse is that you cannot put fertilizer on the crops growing down here. That means that uh, they are at the star ranking that you plant them, period. Its main use is for either increasing your profits from, you know, like for example, you could just plant all of this with pineapple and that would be a lot of money that you would generate every like what six days it would it would be nuts but the other way the other thing that it can be used for is to propagate seeds and that's kind of what I prefer to use it for because you need a lot of seeds for the non regrowables and uh, of course we're only uh, putting fertilizer on a single regrowable. Oh gosh, we need to head to bed. We're only putting fertilizer on a single one of our regrowables every day, or the high quality stuff anyway. And so we only have two to four of the high quality regrowable seeds every year. So that's why we planted the strawberries and the cucumbers down there. And that way, we can have more strawberry seeds and more cucumber seeds that are of our highest quality that we can plant in the spring. I don't remember if you can water your basement crops twice a day, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it once before we go to bed, and that should suffice. That should suffice to get us all the, uh, all the seeds that we want and all that kind of stuff. And there we go, five star carrots. 
Let's see if that carrot that I trampled on the end is still a five star. Yep. Perfect. That's a lot of carrots. And that's a lot of spinach. Oh boy. And there, the spinach we're at, we gotta harvest too, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure how we're gonna do this. And it's a one win day. Because why wouldn't it be? Okay. Yo. 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 I think it's most important that we try and get the spinach planted today, just so we can work on increasing its star quality. Yo. So we're gonna focus on that first, and then the carrots, if we can't, if there's not time for them today, then that's fine. I really wish I hadn't messed up with the whole blue wonderful thing, but again, I will explain that in time. Oh, are you serious? That's eight hours for that. Oh my gosh. Alright, um... Yeah, I think we can put in two more spinach seeds and then have that done before the day is through. My goodness, though. Yo. 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 But as far as the carrots go, well, good luck with that. We're, we're not getting those replanted today. So we're not going to go ahead and turn those grapes into rosé wine because it takes a very long time to make rosé wine and it takes even longer to make champagne and you really don't have much of a chance of getting that stuff done in a reasonable amount of time to the point where you'd probably just have it running, making champagne and rosé wine 24-7 if you tried. Now, that said, you might be able to make it work if you just, if you wait until winter, but it doesn't seem like that would be a good idea. I think we should just make the, make the red wine, make the white wine. And the thing is, is that, oh wait, actually we need to make cheese for the pizza, don't we? And flour for the... Hmm. And I think we're gonna go ahead and make the cheesecake again this year, so we're gonna go ahead and make two things of cheese. <sighs> anyway, you only get about maybe like 10 to 15% profit when you turn the wine into champagne, so it's not even really all that worth it. So, we've got this pretty stocked full and we've got it stocked full with a lot of things that take a lot of time. The good news is that Blue Wonderfuls decrease the processing time of windmills. You just install them in here and there you go. All your stuff will take less time. How much less time depends on the wind strength and if you blow into the microphone, but basically your stuff takes less time. So why haven't we installed our Blue Wonderful in here yet? Well, unfortunately, you can't change Wonderfuls while it's processing. But that's what Wonderfuls do. They change how a windmill works a little bit. The Blue Wonderful will decrease the time that it takes. Purple Wonderfuls unlock extra recipes. Here, let me... Oh, well, I can't show you here, but I can show you elsewhere, I'm sure. Anyway. Uh, purple Wonderfuls unlock extra recipes. There's one that actually increases the star quality of the finished product by a half a star, which is really nice. But unfortunately, you get it a little too late for it to be really all that useful. Um, but here, let me show you with the uh, fermenting windmill. So the fermenting windmill, when you install a Purple Wonderful, it will unlock these recipes that are way down at the bottom here. You see how it says 77 out of 86? There are nine recipes for this particular windmill, 
that a Purple Wonderful will unlock, and there are specialty wines and uh, specialty teas, but... Anyway, the, that's aside from the point. Uh, the point is, is that there are various different uh, um, things that Wonderfuls do, and they cost 10,000 G at Diego's Delights, and they get sold starting with a certain season. I think the Blue Wonderful gets sold starting with Summer Year 2, um, the Purple Wonderful, however, doesn't get sold until, like, midway through year three. So that's just something to keep in mind, is that it's gonna take you a while to get all the Wonderfuls. Um, there's another Wonderful that increases the total number of processes that can, that you can have, which would be really nice to have. Um, there's another one that increases the maximum stack size from 10 to 30. And there's one that just gives you extra stuff. If you have that installed, then you get extra... Uh, so if you put in a 5 stack, then you'll get the equivalent of if you had put in a 6 stack. So, for example, with seeds, right, you, you put in 5 and you would get 12. But if you're making cheese, for example, then you put in 5 and you get 6 cheeses. And if you put in 10, then you get 12. Which is also really nice, especially for really high-profit goods that you... high-profit processed goods. You can only have one Wonderful installed at a time, though. So you can't, say, have a blue Wonderful installed to decrease the processing time, while you also have a Wonderful that increases the stack size. And keep in mind that when you, when you try and process 30 things at once, it's going to take a very long time. Do not do that with wheat. And you can also only have one Wonderful of each color, so you are also going to have to keep that in mind when you're planning out how you set up your wonderful system. And of course, you can swap them in and out, but again, you can't do that while they're processing. So you have to decide beforehand what wonderfuls you want where. And because of the way that... All that stuff works with, uh, in regards to, like, say, wheat seeds and tree seeds and whatnot. That's why I tend to prefer the Blue Wonderful for the grinding windmill. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show just how much the Oki Butterfly is for Raul. Okay, it's 200G to Raul. Actually, wait, let me, let me see the star quality. For three stars. So that's actually a pretty nice chunk of change for a critter. You don't usually get that much for them. Uh, so it's, it's I think, the second most valuable butterfly, which is, it's kind of weird that it's a silver cage one, but... Mmm. Uh. Delicious. So yeah, the Oki Butterfly is pretty valuable, and you can only find it second year and later in that area. So don't, uh, don't miss it. In the fall. That's right, that's the other point that I gotta make, is that it can only be found in the fall. Alright, so we're gonna see... I'm gonna show you. This is a two-win day. This is a two-win day, having already blown into the microphone. I'm gonna show you what two batches of rosé wine, what it takes to, to turn two batches of rosé wine into two batches of champagne. Or two bottles of 168 hours. And again, this is on a two-win day after having blown into the microphone. I think that cuts the time in half. I could be wrong. And you don't gain that much from it. Now, you may have noticed that the rosé wine was at five stars, whereas our grape and muscats are at uh, four and a half. Eight. 
And so it da did gain a half a star, and you do gain some profit from that, obviously. We only want to make one batch of flour, because there is... Flour does have a freshness rating. Um, it's kind of weird. Wheat doesn't have a freshness rating, but flour does. And you can see it's going to be done before we're even done planting the carrots, let alone before we need to go to bed. Yeah, 29 minutes. So we can go ahead and uh, um, grab that and then put the rest of the carrots in so that we don't have to wait for carrot seeds to process. And of course, because these are five star, we don't need to uh, uh, be putting any fertilizer on them. Head back in, get our inventory all set up. Actually, the first thing we want to do, first thing I want to do is I want to make that pizza and that cheesecake. This way, we don't have to be all cheaty about it. Except for the cheesecake, because I'm pretty sure we still don't. See, we could have made an omelet, we could have made egg rice. We actually have cooked rice, but anyway. There are actually quite a few dishes we could have made, but I decided on the pizza. And hopefully it'll be high quality, even though the tomato really isn't all that high quality. Maybe it'll be good enough to win. <laughs> Five star, nice. All right, and then a dessert for dessert one. And uh, while I would like to mix things up a bit, actually, I mean, I could just make pudding. Why not? Pancakes as the dessert, they kind of are. In a lot of ways, they kind of are. I could make yam dessert, but we'll just go with cheesecake. Make sure we're using the highest quality ingredients. And that should be five stars. Yes. So we've got two five star dishes to show up with at the cooking festival. And that should get us the prize both times. Go! 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 The real prize is always the friends we make along the way. Alright, so I think that's gonna have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you later. Bye.